out of all the things that I learned in the Church of God, I would say the most eye-opening, the most touching for me was learning about God the Mother. As I had mentioned, since I had a religious background and I studied the Bible extensively, I'd always felt that what other denominations were explaining was very dry and their explanations were very casual. And, well, especially with regards to the New Jerusalem in the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and chapter 22, it just seemed like a really important prophecy that they were just kind of just going over without any kind of depth to it or a firm explanation. So when I learned about the New Jerusalem in the book of Revelation from the Church of God and learned that it was our Heavenly Mother, and they showed that to the Bible, I was really shocked and surprised. And that was eye-opening because, you know, we always go to church and believe in God the Father, but here it is, the Bible testifying about our Heavenly Mother, God the Mother. And when I learned about the New Jerusalem, the bride, the wife of the Lamb, was our Heavenly Mother, I was shocked to also learn that she was testified from the beginning of the book of Genesis, when God said, let us make man in our image and likeness. So here you had it, you had God the Mother testified from the first book, Genesis, to the last book, Revelation. And I came to understand that the, the testimony of God the Mother is from the beginning to the end of the Bible. It's filled throughout the entire scriptures. And after learning that and seeing that all throughout the Bible, the, finally the puzzle pieces that I had been missing in my life of faith were coming together.